Alright guys, Roach here, and there is huge news within Smash. Nintendo released a um, Nintendo Direct thing on the channel. Link is in the description. And uh, they just told us about what to expect from the Wii U. It's called the uh, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U 50 Fact Extravaganza. You can go see that video, um, like I said, on the Nintendo channel. And it's like 60 minutes long. And uh, Kotaku, I watched most of the, most of it, but Kotaku put out a article, 53, 53 things we just learned about the Super Smash Brothers Wii U, and they kind of summed up all the big things. So you know, if you just want to read it all instead of watching it, although watching it is pretty freaking awesome too. You know, when we we, we don't know really, we didn't know what to expect from the Wii U version because. Is it gonna be like the 3DS version? You know, we, you know, you you really didn't know. And at the same time, you know, for a lot of Smash fans, it was, um, you know, you don't want to buy two games, but at the same time, you want the portable version, which is awesome, and you want the better version on the Wii U that gives you the GameCube controller access or whatever controller you want. And you you pretty much thought you're buying the same game, kind of kind of like. Um, what was that Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Edition where you can get it for the Wii U and get it for the 3DS it was the same game you can even play with each other online uh, 3DS with Wii U what was really really amazing about uh, this is the I'm just gonna give you guys some of the updates it was one you could play with eight players at once and that was flippin awesome and you could play with the num the Wii U the Wii Motes Nunchuck, GameCube controller, Pro controller, GamePad, and 3DSs. So you have a lot of huge variety of controlling uh, controller options if you're short on controllers. The one thing is that you couldn't play eight players online, which I actually didn't see as a bad thing because it kind of brings Smash back to that um, to that home home feeling, you know where. You know, like where you got together with your friends and all that stuff and played against each other. So it, it, it kind of brings that back, although in a new aspect, that obviously because you have eight players, I don't. It's just gonna be mayhem. Uh, they have bigger levels. Um, one of the big things now, I'm, I don't quite understand. I know Mewtwo in Brawl was pretty OP from what I heard. But they're bringing Mewtwo back, and if you own both the versions, if you own game, uh, 3DS and the Wii U, you get Mewtwo for free. But Mewtwo's coming on as DLC. There's a lot more DLC characters, which I don't mind because they released so many characters um, in this game that you know you're pretty satisfied. You don't need the DLC characters. Uh, that's just fun. That's just extra stuff. And obviously, they just can't make a hundred characters in a game. I mean, they could, but it's probably better that they spent more time on the gameplay than sitting there trying to make characters all day. Now they can spend extra time making characters, sell it to us for a couple bucks or however, ten bucks for some, I don't know, package. Uh, Mewtwo's coming out next year. Uh, what else was there? You also get, if you get both, if you have both the versions, you get some type of, you sign up on Club Nintendo by January 13th, you get a two disc soundtrack set from Nintendo. That's pretty cool. Uh, there is a there's a lot here. I'm just I'm just scrubbing through to see. I know there is uh, Ridley from the Metroid series will appear, but not but he's not playable. I mean that's pretty cool, but I wasn't really I wasn't really interested in it. And obviously, there's a whole bunch of stuff, guys. Go check it out. Links are in the description. Um, you know, and if if you're thinking about, if you're on the fence about getting the Wii U, definitely get the Wii U. Get Smash, um, and get Mario Kart 8. If you're looking for games, Mario World, uh, Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 8, Smash Brothers, uh, Wii U. Those are all coming out. Those are going to be good. On top of that, 2015. You guys are going to have Zelda, a lot of great Nintendo IPs that are currently uh, 
rocking it. I mean, even some of the mediocre, like uh, Hyrule Royer, Warriors isn't a, I, I have it. It's a great game. It's a great game on the Wii U. It's not like this epic game. It's a good filler game. Uh, so there's some solid, solid games coming up uh, on the Wii U, along with some really good filler games. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later.